kind of scary. All right. Call the meeting to order at 8 o'clock. Um, any input? No? Yeah. Right, thank you. All right, consent the calendar. You're all set with it. Yep. Okay. Um, so we'll by consent. Um, we're going to we'll go into the welfare at the end. Sure. And just going to non public then. Um, the main purpose of tonight is the 2020 budget default budget and capital items. So we'll look at this. This is what, what we need to do warrants on is what you're saying. Yes. Well, maybe not all the warrants, but okay. yes. Okay. You know, as many of the warrants as you can figure out. Um, Sorry. That is the that is version four of the capital improvement plan. Okay. I don't know, so it's the version that was proposed to the budget committee and to the board. Okay. But I don't, you know, you all have not decided and, and, and so capital items for the warrant is one thing. You all still at some point ought to decide do you like how money is allocated and where the potential purchase years are for mm -hmm. all these things. That's, mm -hmm. that's another related conversation, but um, not quite as urgent. Okay, so for let's see, 2020, we're talking about uh, the uh, fire department. Ex the, uh, ex yep, I can't say the words. Oh, education yep. equipment um, in the forestry, mm -hmm. and then decided not to do the articulating motor. The highway, correct? Right. Okay. We removed that uh, off at least a year. Okay. And then the Quonset huts. That, that, that's nothing allocated. To that. No, he. That's there's nothing allocated because that's. Um, so there, it's being, being deferred. Deferred. Okay. So it's not. It's, so really, it's only the fire department. Um. So the generator. I don't know why that says 2022. Well, so, so can I can I go down the list of sure. what I thought was um, where we're at? So we have two cruisers, one to you know one article to fix the problem in the language for the 2019 cruiser, oh, and then the there's a new cruiser, um, and then the town hall generator for thirty thousand dollars for 2020. This is all for 2020 for the 2020 How much? Yes. 30,000. 35, sorry, 35 for each of the cruisers and then 30 for the town hall generator. 35. Um 30,000 for the extrication equipment. 55,000 for the forestry. Um 30,000 for town hall assessment. So some of these have offset from CIP, some some do not. And the sidewalk repairs for 25,000. Where's the town hall assessment? That's a separate warrant. Um, it's yeah, not on there because it's not coming from capital foot proof. Oh, okay. So I'm looking at, if you want to look at your operating budget, I'm looking at the bottom to the right color. So I'm looking at the bottom of, yes. This one? No, the other one. This just one? that color. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, and the very back of that are the warrant articles. So, um, so some of those items come from the capital improvement plan. And others like the town hall assessment and um, land appraisal and like that do not. And then there are also the reserve funds, which are relevant and worthy of discussion, but don't relate at all to the CIP, such as the conservation land trust fund. We've been funding at ten thousand um, dollars. Conservation commission is suggesting twenty-five. The last decision of the board was fifteen. So um, there's that. The town revaluation fund. Culvert Reserve Fund, what to put into the capital improvement plan. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I thought we came up with that number. I well, it was like I so so that's why I'm having a I I'm yes. Okay. They're disagreeing, and that's why I made the note that the last conversation the board had, um, 186,895 was going into CIP. Um, and there is a general consensus about that, but then I see that that is not what is on this version of the CIP. Um, so, again, you all haven't finalized the CIP, so it's, you know, that number kind of isn't real until you all do decide how to mm -hmm. reallocate things. That being said, we have put um, 178,200 this year, and I, um, I would just caution you about going 
too low when when the when the when the plan isn't fully funded. Mm -hmm. um, so that that one's a little bit nebulous, but. Um, so if we could go back up to the capital projects, the cruisers um, each have $13,000 coming from CIP for the, um, the equipping of the vehicle, and that's what happened this year with our cruisers, that 13 came out of um, CIP for equipping, but then another 13 come out for the lease payment. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's actually, um, 26 coming out of CIP. Um, so, so the, y you, you know that that first lease payment came out of the operating budget mm -hmm. this year. So, um, in any case, those are that. So, so one has two payments still to come out of CIP. The other would have all three payments coming out of CIP. So. They'll get they'll get written a little bit differently. The generator is um, not so it is fully funded from the CIP. If you're not gonna if you wish to take the um, articulating mower funds and allocate those toward the generator instead, Miles, if you recall, wasn't there? Um, so um, if you took the thirty five, you see the articulating motor motor has thirty five thousand on it, so you could. Um, put 30 on the generator and still have... This, this says that this is fully funded at 65000 the generator. Well, it's, um, it's, so the $35,000, the final $35,000 would come from what we're putting into the CIP fund this year. So yes, it's kind of like a, a passing in the hallway. Mm -hmm. So yes, so there's as as it's written now, there's fifty thousand dollars already put in the fund for it. You can either uh, if you are to you know. Well, where does that show? Sixty-five or no. fifty. Well, so I. But where does it show on here? Because it's not sitting in the fund because they took up they recalculated all of these this year. Mm -hmm. So there isn't that money sitting there anymore. Unless we took it and put it in the fund. Well, so she, so so money in the fund is money in the fund, and you can allocate it however you want to allocate it. In this right. version, um, this version includes the articulating lo mo um, loader, and it has $50,000 already in the fund. Oh, I thought we were talking about the generator. Yep. Well, we are, but what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that the funding for the generator which it has no funding on it. Right. It's this coming it from. The, yeah, see, it says it on the. In, it in CIP reserve on 65000 But I don't know how. Where is that? Where is it showing oh. there? Mm -hmm. um. Somehow I thought that was still too. And then, okay. So we're not going to advocate spending. Interesting. So I apologize for that. Then yes, it's, it's it has nothing to do with the loader, and whether you do the loader or not, there's thirty thousand dollars in there. All right, I read that wrong. I apologize. So in CM, so what we what we see at this in this column, there should be two hundred ninety five eight hundred in the CIP fund right now. Yep. Correct. At least. I, I mean, yes, have at some least. Interest. Probably, but that's yeah. what this number is, 295800 yep. Yes. Okay, so what, yes. and so what he's saying is, okay, right now. and right now, in the articulating loader, there's 50000 in there, plus they wanted another thirty-five. They were going to, of the payment that was going to go in this year, they were going to put thirty-five five, to finish right, it off. Right, right, gotcha. Yes. Okay. So, what's cool about that, though, is that, um, the generator is funded at sixty-five thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and it's only going to cost us thirty. So you've got thirty-five thousand dollars in the CIP that you can reallocate. reallocate. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. So okay. Um, I'm just marking on the operating budget spreadsheet what what our funding sources is, are okay. and how much so for those things. The generator is thirty thousand. So I think we agree we're going to propose that as moving forward. The thirty thousand? Yeah. 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 
Do you want to make it a promotion each uh, one, or do we want I to do it, it all, t all together? Whatever, how are you like? Yeah, do it all together. Yeah, okay. we do. Okay. This, just want to keep track. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So um, then, um, the uh, there is thirty thousand in the fire. Um, the fire extrication yep. equipment has zero. It has, has zero, zero. and I'm not sure even if it had beef on them. Well, oh, okay. So that was after jiggling it. Well, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I asked the state. I don't know that it's going to be allowed. Uh -huh. um, I haven't heard back. To my mind, it's very similar to the Warren article for fire department radios. Radios is equipment. Even though you're buying a lot of radios and it meets the standard of capital, it was equipment, and they didn't want us using CIP funds for it. For um, equipment? We had to change the Warren article. If for it's radios is the issue, not equipment. Well, it's not an equipment capital reserve fund. It's a capital, you know. So, wouldn't a cruiser count as equipment? Well, what what they get to decide, okay. I, you know. Okay, so decide. you're right. I mean, where, where do you draw the line? Yeah. So, and that's why I have this question about, you know, which side of the fence does okay. extrication equipment fall? And so I don't have a determination about that. I would think it has to do with longevity, right? I mean, a, a piece of equipment mm. and how many years of life it would have, where the one they have now, is it 25 well, or 30 years? Is, and, it, yeah. and it is partly its cost, too. And, mm -hmm. and the cost is, you know, they are three separate pieces of equipment at $10,000 mm -hmm. each. Mm -hmm. So, you know... So, so you're awaiting a determination? I'm waiting. So I'm just being upfront yep. with the fact that yeah, that yeah. might not work out and we don't know yet. Okay. So. Um, what are we going to know before we... I, I, I'm trying to... I, we should be done with tax rate setting season. I would hope that I can get an answer soon. Okay. Um, so nine, there's $969. That's just a side note there in the margin. In the equipment fund. The equipment fund is what we used to offset the radios this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. So um, we can zero out or nearly zero out the equipment fund if you want to. It's not very helpful. So and you can do that regardless of whether you want to use money from CIP. Yeah. Yeah. So otherwise, thirty thousand needs to come from taxation because there's nowhere else. If there's not CIP, there's essentially nowhere else. Well, you know, when I'm looking at all of this stuff for Mark, none of this stuff is. It's questionable. So we need to kind of have them look at this as a complete. They've been picture. fine with vehicles. No, I'm not except for vehicles. But right. anything yeah. like their air pig. Air pack filling station. You know, uh, when I talk to her, I'll go through the other. Uh, yeah, items I mean, to we say. need to really know before we start putting yeah. money away for something. Paving projects. Yeah, I mean, I get vehicles, you know, but I if it's something, if there's more restrictions, we need to really know about that. Mm. Yes, and have even a separate equipment fund that we're funding with its own not CIP plan. Exactly, that but what you're it. taking. You'll be taking this out of there to put it in there, so it's or not really a total impact. It's going to be the same. It's just going to but be a different be type of fund. more manageable. Right, right. Okay. Um, so it's hard for us to say that we would give the um, fire equipment if we have to come up with thirty thousand in the operating budget, though. Well, we can propose it as a board article, right? Oh, and, and and then they would increase the budget by that warrant versus not saying. We'd have to say it's going to come by a taxation. Okay. Unless we know something down the road. Okay. All right. Um, 55 for the forestry is fully funded in the CIP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, no. Yeah. It, uh, All except 92. No, 45,800. Well, that's what's in there right now, but then the payment that's to be made this oh, year the is going to fund the remaining. Then, then so. be, gotcha. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, the town hall assessment's another one that's going to be taxation. There's no <laughs> other... Um, if, if you're, there's no other funding source for that. And is that a firm number? Um, it's the best number we have. It's not at all firm. Okay. Um, is it a higher or low, just what we know now? It's just what we know now. Higher it's, or low? Well, um, Where are you getting the number from? It is based on what the school paid to do their assessment a few years ago for a larger building. So it's an old number for a larger building. Um, and, and so um, the facilities director at the school agreed that that was 
a reasonable number to put on the wire. Sidewalk repairs um, that, that's coming from the Transportation Capital Reserve Fund. Yeah. Um, and then land appraisal that's only funded if there is a need for that, a proposal for that. Um, and that comes from the Conservation Land Trust Fund. Um, and then the um, the Capital Improvement Reserve Fund. Do you, do you want to go with the number that's on this spreadsheet or the number that's on that you had previously discussed on the operating budget or something else? Um, and then we've got the Culvert Reserve Fund. So I, I think we should move forward with the 186 to 895. At, at one point, that made sense with what we had in this column. Um, the other thing is, would you like me to um, to rework this spreadsheet according to what I think the will of the board is, so that you know, and I can even talk to you both separately about where you think things ought to happen, and um, so that you have a, a working document that's a little bit closer to where you both are at, and I can talk to you both about. Yeah, uh, I mean. Um, you know, I, I am on the CIP committee. I don't, I don't feel like this is terribly far off to, from what uh, we agree to as a group. Um, but yeah, I mean, certainly there's a, there's room. To well, shift. so we've got generator money to reallocate, and we've got um, we need to pick a year for the articulating loader if it's going to stay on there. Is that next year, and then we can um, reallocate. I mean, if, if it's as simple as that, then it's as simple as that, and that's fine. Because everything has its reasons why it's being deferred, so we have to really think about whether or not it's something that we're even thinking about. Yeah, anything. no, I... You know, I mean, presenting to the CIP committee is a lot different than presenting to the board of selectmen. Well, this is, you yeah. know, you, you, can, you can take things off if you want to take things off. Well, I'm not prepared to, I'd rather have the three of us here doing it, but... Yeah. Um, but I think that, you know, just because it's on there doesn't mean that it's something that we support at this time anyway. But maybe maybe in a year or two, I don't know. But, I mean, this year, no. We can also, um, you know, we, we have some room on the edge of our really long sheet here. We can add some notes about um, how you feel about the different things. Mm -hmm. Just so that they can stay on there maybe in an unfunded way with a why, so that people yep. don't lose the thought. So on this, it's saying it's 186,895 versus 170,895. That's what we're talking about, right? Yeah. So why would we go above what's projected here? Because you have three and a half million dollars worth of equipment. So over you 10 years, that's it. about $350,000 we should be putting away. Oh, OK. So, so we start filling in some of these. OK. That's what I mean by at one point that one, one eighty six eight ninety five really did come made, from this spreadsheet. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think. Those but there was a lot been. added to this. Yeah, it got yeah. it got revised a yeah. number of times. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay. What What are your feelings about putting it in the one eighty six? Yeah. Okay. I think that's so you're you're saying to keep it what's on there? Yeah. Okay, I'm okay with that too. Okay. Then I'm gonna make that now. Okay. When, when something is on CIP and applications are going out for it, and the time comes for it to be purchased, can CIP money be used for a used piece of equipment? It's all how you write the warrant article. It just says you're buying a plow truck for $165,000. Well, so. Right. It doesn't matter. You can. It, it, it's all about the. It's, well, it, it matters what they say, of course. Um, it, it doesn't. You, you can have. It either way, it's how you write the warrant article. If you say we're going to buy a used piece of equipment, then you're obligated to buy a used piece of equipment. If it just says you're buying this piece of equipment and this is how much, then you have up and up through that amount of money, and you can certainly buy used within that. 
you so, are new. Right, so they encourage you to write warrant articles that don't say make model year from this vendor yep. because yeah. then you're boxing okay. yourself in. Okay, well I just want to make sure that used is not a problem because I mean if he did the homework early enough we might have reconsidered yeah. something and then then we come in with a possible used piece of equipment that could last us 15 years or more you know so it wouldn't hurt to encourage to do some of that looking going forward especially on these big pieces of equipment you know I, used isn't always good but sometimes can be you know if it's well, maintained enough well so, enough you know mm -hmm. Here's the other way to, to look at that. You have, um, I mean, if, if it's within your values and your priorities that you want you want that piece of equipment, it's already fun. It's got fifty thousand dollars on it already. You can take the remaining thirty five thousand dollars that we're not spending on a generator. I'm not proposing to do it this year. I'm much. just saying. Go, going forward, because it seems like DRA has some restrictions about capital improvement projects. So is, is buying something new or used, is there something different between those two? I just want to make sure that... It's, it's all fine, it's just, um, it's all in the wording of the Warren article. But it's not all fine, because you're saying the equipment for the fire department well, is challenging, you, you, you that, don't that's know. Because they, well, it, it, that's because for whatever reason, equipment is, is not really considered in DRA's mind and a capital expense. But I consider the loader equipment. Mm. Well, I know. And so they consider that a vehicle and a vehicle like, is capital. Like so a building or a like that's capital, right? Something you can get in and drive around. It's equipment. Yeah, yeah. Well that's how I look at it, but I but, don't know. Okay. But I it wouldn't see. hurt when it you know, when the stuff slows down and they have a little bit of time on their hands well, to just verify well, we need what the restrictions are for um, equipment and, and Well, so so the restriction is the enabling legislation. It's the it's the Warren article that created the capital improvement plan, yeah. which was vague. It said, you know, so so really it's like any other law, it's all open to interpretation and their inter interpretation of a capital item is not equipment. And, and, and we're not, a, you know, we don't seem to understand where the line is about what's equipment and not equipment. But a capital improvement plan is for larger items that is not equipment. So, so I'll try to, you know, so it's gray because our Warren article that created it is gray. It doesn't say that it will include equipment. It doesn't say it's for vehicles and equipment and land and other big purchases. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't explain in any way. It just says for capital so if it was on the capital improvement plan um, sheet and was allocating money towards it, and then we was told that we couldn't do it, if that was for the given year that we're going to have that purchase, we could have um, we could take that less amount out of our our yearly contribution and pay for it this way out of the operating sure. budget and then fund it sure. that way. So if we find those things out sure. early enough, we can do that. Yes. Because it's really the town wide knows it's a capital improvement, but state. Well, yes, you know but I mean? still we ought to know for future how to manage it better. Right. But that was one of the reasons why, um, or one of the things that could be helpful is, is that these things were not in the plan. Like, if, if we could document that for 10 years we've been planning on radios and every year we put, you know, $3,000 away for radios, then clearly, you know, they were part of the plan and everybody knew it and it was an approved mm -hmm. plan. Mm -hmm. um, but because both the radios, you know, and now the extrication equipment is coming up in the same year, mm -hmm. that we're going to purchase it in the same budget cycle that it's getting proposed, it's never really part of the plan. It's just going through that plan process to get on the warrant. So that's a good point. That, that's that, a good that's point. That, that that's definitely different. is a good point. So maybe we should just move it forward as a warrant article paid. Paid out of taxation. Yeah. And it's if just, we do that, we could reduce this amount by what was in there, and then the money's technically there. Yep. So then it gets approved. Y yeah. If it does, well, yeah. If it doesn't, yeah. then we're going to have to find a property budget because yeah. we can't go without it. Right. It yeah. Yeah. Okay, but. It's one of those pieces.
I just think that, again, we, we have to start talking to our department heads about thinking outside the box and thinking long term and really putting some thought into it, not just all of a sudden saying this is what we need. You know, we just have to work on that. Okay. Um, so, bottom line is we have to do a, uh, we have to do um, a warrant article for cruisers. Two warrant, two separate two different warrant ones. articles. Okay, yes. two, okay. And then we have to do one for, no, we don't have to do it for the generator because that was already taken care of, right? Well, all of these are, all of these are warrant articles. All of these are their own separate warrant articles. Well, Every the generator was done last year, aren't we taking the money and deferring it? No, that's the, the boiler. Um, the boiler was done. No, oh, that was a boiler, I'm sorry, you're right. Okay. Um, okay, so all of, and the uh, two fire pieces of equipment and the assessment and Sidewalk. What was the sidewalk repairs again for? Is that what's on Locust Street? Um, Locust and Main Street, and as far down as he can do into downtown, he wants to. And is he doing it with concrete, or is he doing it no. with paving? Paving. Okay. So he's actually doing all of this work himself. I don't think so. Okay. okay. Although I, I'm not sure of that. Okay. We need to know more about what his plan is, but he thinks he can do it for 25. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then like. And there's nothing left on the credits. Well, after so this after this year's transfer into that fund, we <coughs> transfer it back out. Okay. There will be. All right. Yes. So, um, so we just have to vote that we're all in favor of these projects. Okay. And the amount coming out uh, in the uh, the deposit of the one eighty six into the capital reserve. That's what we have to vote on today. Well, right? and, and if you would, if you can get as far as um, Culvert Capital, um, the Culvert Reserve Fund, um, the Town Revaluation Fund is, is the same until we do the reval. But um, should we do CFP separately and then do those sure, afterwards? Sure, sure, that's mm -hmm. good. Okay, yep. so do you want to make a motion? Yeah, so I'll make a motion that we um, make a contribution to the CIP of one hundred and. Eighty-six thousand eight hundred ninety-five dollars. Okay, I'll second that. Any further discussion? Yep. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Um, so, do we also need motions for the? Do we have items? to do all of them? I think you can. I think. Um, how about you know a motion to do um, list them for a total of two hundred forty-five thousand yep. dollars. Okay. Is it two forty-five? Yeah. It is two forty-five. Um, the crew, one of those cruisers is, the cruiser's listed twice, so it's 210 of new expenses. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'll make a motion um, that we expend from the capital, for capital projects, a total of 210,000? No, it's 245. Two, two forty-five. Yeah, two forty-five. A total of $245,000 for two cruisers. Um, a generator, thirty thousand dollars. Fire extrication equipment for thirty thousand uh, dollars. Fire forestry vehicle for fifty-five thousand dollars. Town hall assessment for thirty thousand dollars. <coughs> Sidewalk repair for twenty-five thousand um, dollars. A deposit. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, land appraisal for five thousand dollars. Okay, I'll second that. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Did you get all that so What was the last one? Land appraisal. Land appraisal. You can yeah. get it right on. It's all of what this column is on. I don't know what column. Well, but we'll get you one though. Yes. motion uh, that we fund the Culvert Reserve Fund with ten thousand dollars. Do you want to do them all? Uh, yeah, we'll okay. do them all. Uh, and also uh, fund the town revaluation fund eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty. Mm -hmm. Conservation land trust fund fifteen thousand. Uh, that's it. For a total of two thirty six forty five. Oh, that's not wrong. So yes. Oh, that includes the capital improvement one. Right. Okay. Do you have the total handy? Um, 230, 645. Yeah. No, it, it, count, it has the 186. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's subtotal, yeah. yeah. Um, but this motion shouldn't have the whole. No. 
No, because you already did the 186, 895, actually. Right, so you've got 25, 30. I think it's 4375. Hold on a second, I'll add it. 45750. 4375. For a total of 43,750. Okay, I'll second it. Um, can I, I just have one question on it. Uh, the eight, uh, the uh, 1850, what year is that? for making contributions, do you know? Are you talking about the reval fund, 18750? Yep. That's, yep. Um, we're due for reval in 22. 22, and so we've been putting in since the, since the last since month? Since the, since 18. Okay, yeah. all right, very good. Okay. Any questions? Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, approved. All right. Anything else? Nope. So, Alright, default budget, didn't we approve the default budget? Well, so we did, but then if you remember at the budget committee meeting, Charlie brought to our attention. What would you say, Charlie? <laughs> some things about election um, election items. So, um, in elections and registrations, mm -hmm. um, the de default budget was... Um, so, so you see a corrected version in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So the election stipend for the town clerk and the ballot clerk's wages, um, everything reflected for elections, but then um, up in executive, the moderator and supervisors of the checklist did not. So actually it's not corrected. Do you see the second and third lines yep. of the budget? So because you already approved it, did you, you know, you can go either way with it. It's an obligation to pay your people who are working that many elections. Do you want the default budget to reflect the number of elections or um, the previous year's budget? I think it should be a number of elections. It's, it's, a, it's an obligation yeah. that we have to do. That was do. his point. Yeah. Yes, thank yeah. you. So that's going to change um, the bottom line of the default budget, which is now. Um, Two million three eighty seven sixty seven dollars. Two million three eighty seven zero sixty seven zero sixty seven. Okay. Yeah. And it's only affecting the first two lines in the uh, yes. for the moderator and the supervisors of the checklist. Correct. Okay. All right. So I'll make a motion that we revise the default budget to two million three hundred eighty seven thousand. And $67. I'll second it. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Approved. Great, thank you. Okay. So, so we're all set on that and the other one, right? Yep. Um, okay. Yes, thank you. All right. Um, if we could, um, I think we might be able to handle abatements pretty quickly before we go into this. Those are in the red folder. Okay. All right. So, all right. So those are all amounts that are due back to the taxpayer because of errors or corrections that were made since tax bills were printed. Okay. So, do we say who it is? Who um, the address? You don't need to. You can just it? make a motion to approve. You know, the abatements presented. You certainly may. It, it's up to you. Okay, so what do you want to do? Yeah, let's just, I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve the abatements um, presented. Okay, and I'll second it. And so then, and then we have, might, must sign them. Yes, all of them. please. Okay. Yes. So, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Yes, of course. Sign in here. Oh, okay. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. And Andrea is still here. You know, if there's something I can't say.
specifically for um, replacing or erecting new poles. It's it's for, you know, I'm, I'm not sure why there are six or eight of them and not, it's you know, 200. It's saying requesting in, permission to install or replace uh, poles located in Mullinsford. So it's putting the one. Yeah. And it may be that when they get hit, they need, you know, I think this is like the, the after the fact permission for. I'll have you sign these and I will sign them. Oh, motion. Should, do we have to make a motion? Yes. It's probably a good idea. Um, sure, I'll make a motion that we um, sign the petition um, and poll licenses presented from Eversource. Okay, I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, Um, okay, I'm going to 
Non-Public, RSA 91-A, colon 3-1-C, Welfare. Uh, roll call, Miles? Yes. Denise, yes. Okay. So, you know, it, it wouldn't be just, you know, the Warren article to say we're going to create a capital improvement plan. It's really about, you know, we, we need to read that whole text about what this plan was that we adopted at that time to see, you know, whether that language requires adjusting. But it, it's certainly worth revisiting. Oh, we have to. We have to do these. Oh, we uh, have to sign these contracts uh, or these um, acceptance you, of the... You, you approved that last... So I'll have to sign it. You just have to sign okay, it. So the um, not that last one, though. The last one in the bottom is the, is the new one. one. Yeah. Yep. Or is it me that has to It's just one. I don't, just, one. just one of you. Okay. Yeah. Great. Go ahead. Okay. So we're not doing this one. Um, so that's the new... I'm oh, sorry. We're, we're not in um, public. We're staying no. out of it for a minute. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Janados, does that have to be approved? So, um, that's a bill, so they don't get paid until you do, so it would be nice. And can we, you need to make a motion to pay it, though? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a, because it's a purchase order. The back of that is a purchase order. There it is. Okay. Yes. I make a motion that we accept purchase order 1534 for $1,000 for Janados Landscaping for fall cleanup. I'll second that. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Um, Mm -hmm. If you would scan the uh, sign the purchase order itself, Oops, sorry. and not on the top of the other purchase order. Yep, I just did that on this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, That's the revised yeah. quote for. So we have a revised quote to do the repair on all the windows. Purchase order one seven four three. Um, I moved that we. Um, Increase it to be thirty-seven fifty-three. It originally was two thousand three thirty-nine. Okay, I'll second that. Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, so I'll, if I just okay next to the new, is that okay? Because we've already signed yeah. it. Okay. okay. And initial on T, please. You want to just put your initials and then we'll be okay with that. Uh, do we need the dog licenses to move? Um, it can wait. It can wait. Court. It can wait. Okay. Um, that's painting, so. Yeah. Is, this the, is this the that's the is front it, foyer? Is this a new quote or is no? This, is that this is the first. Are we ready to go there? We, uh, yeah, sure. But okay. I mean, all right. Sure. Make that 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 okay. Um, um, so move purchase order uh, seventeen forty-two to GM in his painting for six hundred sixty dollars for painting of the foyer, repainting of the foyer. I'll second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Make a motion that we approve purchase of one nine zero four for is it IDS? Yes. Um, for six hundred dollars licenses for two thousand and twenty for two forty one fifty four. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Is it no, no, it's this year. Yeah. Okay. All right. In the last um, thing. Um, this is the uh, public service agreement to do the town hall, which has a. It's on the last page. A, a value, a project value of. That's what it's going to cost. So, wait, so the project oh, value wait, is twice. Not that. doing the financing, but doing it out of pocket. That's the out of pocket price. That, that's that's half million. of the total price because it's a 50, yeah. 50 cost share. So that's the town's okay. portion. So the town's portion would be eight thousand three eighty one seventy seven. And we found this money in the budget. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Sign here. Um, no, not on that one because that's for financing. Oh, oh I want um, it. Yeah, that there, there. There. Okay, just one signature. Just, on just that one no, page. And that one. page, yes. This one too? Those two pages. That's it. All right. So. Oh, sorry. Shall, shall I give you? I'll give you two papers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Um, okay. And what was the amount? 8,381.77. Okay. But it's non financing. Um, print and sign and date. Why does it say school district? Um, it says town school district. It's it's a public entity. And oh, I got you. It okay. depends okay. on who you are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure that then, maybe they were going to pay for um, it. Sign, print, title, date. So we expect to save four thousand dollars next year. Well, depending on when this gets done, we signed the last one yeah, months ago, so. so we don't know how much of that's really going to happen. If you could just put the rest of yeah, yeah. You know, you just sign those. All right. Now we're going to go into non-public based on the RSA that I previously stated. Yes. Okay.